Hi, my name is Paolo, and in this quick demo, I'd like to show you how to reorganize fields in Salesforce. So in my last video, we created a custom object called recipe. Let me show you. Here's the recipe object. And if I go into a recipe record, we can see that we've created some custom fields. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can check my other videos. What I want to do in this video is reorganize the way that we see these fields. Now, there are two ways to do this in Salesforce. One of them is using page layouts and the other one is using the dynamic forms. In this video, we'll cover page layouts. So to begin, I wanna click on the gear icon and click setup. Then I wanna to go to object manager and search for my custom object. I'll go into my custom object. On the left-hand side, I'll click page layouts and then I'll click recipe layout. Here on the top, we can see that we have access to all of the fields available to this custom object. We can access buttons, quick actions, related lists, and some other things too. Now, if I go back to fields, we can see that all the fields that exist in this custom object is already on our page layout. So if I scroll down, I can see that under information, I have all of the fields that we want, but let's make some changes to them. First of all, I want to remove owner. So I'll hover over the owner field and then on the right hand side, I'll click this little minus icon and that removes it from the page layout. If we wanted to add owner back onto the page layout, we just use this top section of our page here and we find the field that we want. Here's owner and we can just drag and drop back onto the page layout, but we don't want it in this case. So we'll remove it again. Then what I want to do is I want to reorganize the way that we see some of these fields. So because ingredients is a large text area, it's going to expand the more you type into it. So I want to leave this field on its own. So what I'll do is I'll select difficulty level and I'll move that to the right hand side. Then I'll move cooking time to the right hand side and then I'll move servings to the right hand side as well. One quick thing I want to note here is you see how this screen were all funny when I started moving these fields around. This is because this is quite an old UI. So don't panic. That's just the way it is. When you're done, hit save. Now let's check out what we did. If we go back to the front end and hit refresh, we can see that the fields have moved around. So we've got difficulty level, cooking time and servings on the right hand side of the page layout. And on the left hand side of the page layout, we only have the recipe name and then we have plenty of space for ingredients. That's it until next time.